Hey everyone. Okay, I see here. And um yeah, this is 10.4. And yes, this is in fact my old save. And yes, I do in fact have oh interesting, a zombie stuck in the car. I didn't lose anything, which is good. And I'm gonna take that because I need more brass. And I can break the matic down into uh Scrap, I suppose. Now, technically, 10.3 came out. Is it 10.3? No, 10.4 came out. Sorry, I'm all confused already. You weren't supposed to be able to import your save. 10.4 Hotfix came out. That allowed you to import your save. But anything that was in one of those storage crates, you would potentially lose. Well, a quick hack of the XML file. Move everything around. A little creative abuse of creative mode to drop down some, yeah, saw that hammock in the two, to drop down some cardboard boxes to get everything transferred, and just like that, everything is back where it belongs in my little kind of uh, home base. So, that was mm, a little time consuming, not too bad, honestly, but a little bit. So I've actually spent a good chunk of day 20, basically up to this point right here, you see, well, barring running out here, and I'll show you where I'm at momentarily, doing all of that stuff. So that's kind of why I have joined you in the middle of the afternoon and why I am now smashing a bunch of zombies in their faces because I want to go check out the new store. Now, I have messed around a little bit and have kind of been through one of these, but I haven't been in one since the 10.4 change adjusted how much loot drops in them. So I'm kind of curious to see what that looks like. And man, I wish I would have found one of these early on in my Walking Dead game, just because it would have been super helpful. Sounds like there might be a... is there a dog in here? Maybe not. Hello. I'm, um, hmm. I did bring my auger with me for super fast looting, so let's go ahead and get that out and hope it's not stupidly loud. A little better. I'll take another pickaxe. I mean, I already grabbed one, right? I do like the new beverages, or beverage coolers, I should say. Anything that adds a little extra variety... I'm generally going to be a fan of, and I'm going to take that too, because I mentioned I need some brass. And I haven't even really got around to mentioning half the stuff I'd like to do, so let me go ahead and mention, uh, yeah, you know what, I'm going to break all of those down into, into scrap. Oh, that one's already open. Uh, one of the things I do want to mention is I have a new video card that I am running. I picked up a GeForce 980, and... Uh, before I say a whole lot more, let me preface what I'm about to say with I really enjoy this game. That should be clear, and that's awesome. I like finding a bunch of frames in there. I was goofing around and found in one of my games a bunch of rebar frames in addition to the wooden frames. Now, as I was starting to say... I really enjoy this game. It's pretty much the one I play more than anything else these days. I'm sure I don't have anywhere near as many hours into the game as some of you folks do. But having said that, I have a good 100, 40, 150, 160, I don't even know, some odd hours into the game. Now, obviously, I haven't been playing since the early, early Alpha days, only since Alpha 8 or something. But having said that, I do feel like I've put in a pretty good number of hours. I mean, I've probably played Mountain Blade around the same number. That Maybe that's 180, I'm not sure. Ooh, look at that, rebar frames. Anything that saves me a little time and trouble, I'm going to be a fan of. Now, the point of all of this verbal meandering is to mention that, yes, this game is in absolute dire need of... Uh, I guess I need to break some of this stuff down. Dire need of being optimized. 
Now, having said that, I fully understand... Ah, oh, you know what? Sorry, I meant to put that back in there. This game is an alpha, so I'm not necessarily saying it's a huge problem or anything along those lines. I'm just acknowledging that this game still needs some serious work before it's, I would say, totally ready to go to the public in a full release. And in part, I'm basing that on, well, past experience with the game. I know kind of what it plays like in terms of performance and current experience with essentially top of the line video card. Granted, I could throw two in my machine, which would be a trick. You'd have to understand. Oh, that was interesting. It's, hmm. It said locked, and yet it was opening, and then I hit the button again, and it stopped. But it would be a trick to put another one in my machine. Can do. After all, I was running Crossfire 280s, so could be arranged, but it'd be kind of a pain. But still, the game kind of runs poorly, and I tend to think the devs know that, and I know that's not typically something that you work on in the alpha phase, so I don't mean for this to be a criticism. It's really just acknowledging that even with a brand new card, it still doesn't run all that great. It's not horrible by any stretch, and I am getting 60 frames right now, ish. I imagine you're seeing the frame counter in the bottom right-hand corner because I have switched to using Shadow Play again for my recording instead of Bandicam, but there's still some work to be done. So where am I? I said I would tell you earlier. Remember this one? I think there was a Shotgun Messiah store in the corner right here. Yep, that's where I'm at. Pretty sure this is all part of the same biome, and if it isn't, oops. So I'm going to go ahead and continue south and see if there's anything worthwhile this way, and I should probably go ahead and take care of some food and water and all that sort of good stuff while I'm doing it. Okay, so still going south. And I have crossed into, obviously, a new zone. And this looks like kind of a cool little grouping of houses here. Now, I don't know if this is a... I'm getting confused with some of my changes here. This might be a 10.3 change that kind of rearranged how stuff looks. And I'm not sure how much I'm going to, or how in-depth, I should say, I'm going to uh, run around here. I was really kind of hopeful of finding more of the new buildings that I haven't really gone through all that much yet. And I should probably also mention that, uh, sorry I didn't talk too much about the actual tool store, instead was complaining about performance, but, uh, you know, Sometimes you just need to kvetch a bit. So, I'll kind of try and keep that to a minimum. Just grabbing these aloe plants because I'm going to go ahead... Or, uh, not aloe plants, you know, yucca plants. Because I'm going to go ahead and turn them into yucca juice. Now, I know yucca juice got changed in 10.4, so I don't think it gives you any food anymore. It just gives you hydration. And, man, there's a lot going on over here. But I'm really digging this. I mean, it looks kind of like a proper little neighborhood. Or, you know, pretty close to it. Yep, I missed that one. But that's because it's really dropping frames right now. Get that one. And I'll grab... Oh, time to move. And I got a lot of zombies around. Yep. Lots of zombies. Not even sure what to check out around here. I mean, one of the problems with introducing all of these cool stores is those are the places you want to go for loot. And when you see things like this, you're kind of like, meh. I don't know, I mean, is it going to have anything I care about? It might, it might not. It's kind of hard to say. Nope. Nope. Now, that's not to say there can't be anything good in here. You know, there could be some uh, chests in some of these places, or safes, I guess it really is. I don't know, I mean, there could be all sorts of interesting stuff, but it takes a little bit out of the game, which is unfortunate. And maybe that's more because I'm at the point where I have so much stuff 
that there's not really a whole lot of reason for me to go through these houses except for food and really I have yeah I, I heard you buddy don't worry about that I have enough food and stuff grown at home I actually I should have harvested everything before I took off but I didn't so I'll have to take care of that when I get back which probably won't be until the next game day because I ended up going quite a ways out But now, at this point in the game, it's kind of like, uh, I only want to go through stuff like this. And look at that. A born and noble. I was hoping to find one of these, too. I'm feeling good about this now. I mean, I don't know what all I can expect to find in here. It might be kind of like my, uh, Walking Dead mode game, where I found a pharmacy right off the bat, and was basically going through a lot of bookcases. I tend to think that'll be a little bit of of what's going on in here since this is a bookstore and has a lot of bookcases but I mean I'm I'm definitely looking forward to this a lot of bookcases might take me a little while here so I'll, I'll go as quickly as I can now I was kind of mentioning earlier 10.4 changed a little bit of how much loot is dropping in these sorts of scenarios I don't know if they changed it specifically for bookcases, but I know they did for the crates in the various stores, so bookcases might have been adjusted a while back. There's been so many changes, I I just lose track of them, honestly. I really do. Okay, now someone knows I'm in here, which is obnoxious, but what can you do? Is there... that's one, yep. I would turn on my headlight as it were, but I'm actually wearing my Kevlar helmet, so can't turn a light on if I'm not wearing the mining helmet. Hoping for some schematics or something, I think I'm still missing one of the schematics for, I want to say maybe iron leg armor. It'd be nice to find whichever ones I'm missing, and if not, maybe one of the McDiver books would be good too. That way I could kind of do some, uh, Scrap armor. Can I shoot him through here once he opens up a hole in the fence? Fence door. You know what I mean. Man. Uh, it's been a week. What can I tell you? It has been a week. I'm glad it is the weekend. Of course, I'm recording this on Saturday. Probably won't be posting it until Monday. But... Here, let's revise that statement. Last week, man, what a week. Oof. So far, not much to speak of for these bookcases, huh? I mean... This is, uh... Do I have iron gloves? I don't know. But that's pretty cool. I like that. I said I was looking for schematics. There's a schematic. And I already have that one, so... Well, I still liked finding it. I'm easily pleased, I imagine. I think I said it before. Maybe I said it in... Uh, <laughs> you know what? I think I said it... Um, this is going to be episode 24. Now, mind you, this is the second time I've recorded episode 24. And not because I forgot to hit record. Not because the game crashed. Nothing like that, actually. Merely because when I recorded, for some reason, I did not have any game audio. And I thought, wow, I can't post this video without any game audio. That would be really bad. So here I am recording it again. And I've actually gone to a completely different area. You know, I'll go ahead and take that. Why not? I'm not carrying a whole lot of anything else. So in the other one, I don't even remember where I went. I think I went north. I, I really don't remember. I found all sorts of cool stuff. I had a chainsaw. I had... I don't know, just... Uh, I think I had found the McDiver book. I found all sorts of stuff. I'll go ahead and take that. Why not? And I will take you to just because I am trying to be a good citizen and get rid of as much of this junk as I can to make something useful out of it. 
But, yeah, definitely not finding that same sort of stuff now. That's okay. I mean, I have an auger. I have an auger. I have a chainsaw. Chainsaw. I don't have a chainsaw. I have a sniper rifle. I got the sniper rifle in the last episode after trying ever so hard to find one. So, um, you know. Oh, hello. In fact, speaking of sniper rifle, let's use it. I wasn't expecting a zombie to walk around. It's funny, I ended my last recording of episode 24 in this same room. Not this exact same room. Come on. Obviously, but in it's the same. Wow, some horrible shooting going on there. This one surprised me, though. I was not expecting a zombie to be right around the corner there. Anyone else? Anyone else? Nope. Okay. I would like to open this door, thanks. But yeah, I ended up stopping the episode in this little office here in a completely different bookstore because, again, it was in another area. But I had found all sorts of... Like I said, I found all sorts of stuff in there. It was pretty cool. Half a mind to take some of those pictures just to do a little decorating, but really, I kind of built a fortress, not a home, so it's not really the sort of thing that needs to be decorated. And I'm just going to go ahead and take just another moment here to see if there's anything else that I should really check out in here, and if not, then I'll probably run through some of these buildings just kind of on my own, because, you know, I'm not sure how much interesting sort of cool stuff will be in here. It's hard to say. Go ahead and take that. But just the same, as I was saying before, I am I'm a fan of how this game is shaping up. I like how they did this. This is really cool. I, I felt that the game was lacking something like this. You had it in Nava's Gone, and I've actually given a little thought to doing a Nava's Gone game, because I haven't played it since... Well, basically, since it was the only choice, as soon as Random Gen came into the game, I stopped playing Nava's Gone. Yep, I saw the crawler there. He missed me. Oh, hello, spider zombie. Let's go ahead and kill you. Using a loud weapon, no less. But I don't know. I'll, I'll have to give a little more thought to doing a Nava's Gone game, but as of this particular moment... Oh, hey, look at that. I'll take the alcohol. Because then I'll be able to make another healing kit out of that. That'll be cool. But, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a Novice Gone game. Maybe not. I'm not sure if there's any interest in that. I might end up just firing up one on my own just because I haven't played it in a while. And if you hear a cat in the background, yes. I have one on my lap and one is wandering around meowing. Hi. Yeah, she actually just walked into the room and she's saying hi. So, hi everyone going to go ahead and translate for her. That's what she's saying. So, I want to go ahead and call it an episode right here. I think I found enough cool stuff for this episode. At least I went through a couple of new buildings. At least new-ish, anyway. Since I haven't had much of a chance to record since they've added some of these things. So, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, I'm just going to run through a little bit of these things on my own. Just because it doesn't seem like there's anything... Uh, super pressing to go into this stuff so i will go ahead and catch you all on the next episode so thanks for watching see you later